dinosaurs. They fascinate us. For almost 165 million years, dinosaurs ruled our planet. And although no human has ever seen one, they capture our imagination. What did they look like? How did they act? How did they live? And why aren't they around anymore? Were they really as fearsome, ferocious, and as incredible as we think? Let's find out. I'm Nizar Ibrahim, and I'm a paleontologist and anatomist. I study life on Earth using fossils. I travel all around the world looking for new, exciting discoveries, and then share what I find with anyone who wants to know more about dinosaurs. And I'm Nizar's junior research assistant and future dinosaur expert. Come along with us as we explore the world of the dinosaurs. Track one, fearsome, ferocious, and incredible. Now, to really understand what life was like during the time of the dinosaurs, we'll need to travel back in time. 66 million years into the past. That's when the last dinosaurs ruled the Earth. Great! I'll start the time machine. Uh, wait, wait, wait. We don't need a time machine. We don't? No. There are more species of dinosaurs on planet Earth right now than there are mammals. In fact, we are currently surrounded by dinosaurs, and I bet you've already seen one today. I've seen a dinosaur? Yep, and here's a clue. A bird? You got it. In fact, by definition, birds can be considered dinosaurs. There's a lot of evidence in the fossil record that shows us that birds are, in fact, surviving dinosaurs and descendants of small, predatory dinosaurs. Wow! That is so cool! I can't wait to learn everything there is to know about dinosaurs. Well, it certainly sounds like you're ready to dig in, which is great, because to be a dinosaur expert, you're definitely going to have to do some digging, or at least exploring. For fossils? Yes, for fossils. A lot of what we know about the history of life on planet Earth is based on the fossil record. The fossil record is made up of all of the fossils we've ever discovered, and we've discovered a lot of fossils. We use what we've learned from the fossil record to find out more about what life was like millions and millions of years ago. No time machine needed. <laughs> well, right, no time machine needed. So, future dinosaur expert, that brings us to our first question. What exactly is a dinosaur? What do you think? Well, I know that dinosaurs had scaly skin and laid eggs. Yes, some dinosaurs had scales on their skin, and some even had feathers. Feathers, really? Wow. Yep, dinosaurs have a lot in common with birds. Although the name dinosaur actually means terrible lizard. So dinosaurs aren't reptiles? There are many different categories of reptiles, and technically birds are part of the reptile family tree. Sometimes people confuse pterosaurs, a group of flying reptiles, and plesiosaurs, a group of marine reptiles with dinosaurs. And to make things more confusing, crocodile-like animals lived alongside the dinosaurs. They're all definitely interesting, uh, but not all reptiles are dinosaurs. But I thought you said that dinosaur means terrible lizard. And aren't lizards reptiles? Yep, you're right. That is true. In the early 1800s, when scientists first discovered megalosaurus bones, they thought the fossils belonged to a strange, supersized, lizard-like animal. Oh, I can see why that would happen if no one had ever found a dinosaur before. But we've learned so much since then. Lizards, snakes, and turtles are not that closely related to dinosaurs, and crocodiles are basically distant cousins, 
that some kinds of animals that exist today are closely related to dinosaurs. Like birds? Yes. In fact, by definition, birds can be considered dinosaurs. There's a lot of evidence in the fossil record that shows how closely these animals are related. As I told you earlier, at least some dinosaurs even had feathers. And dinosaurs, like birds, usually had hollow bones. Bones! I was wondering when we'd get to them. We got to them. We can tell a lot about dinosaurs by looking at how their bones fit together. Dinosaurs stood with their legs directly underneath them, unlike lizards and crocodiles, which have a sprawling gait. Most dinosaurs also walked on their toes. Can you walk on your toes? I can try. See what it feels like to walk on your toes. If you're sitting, then imagine walking across the room. That wasn't too hard, but I don't know if I could do it all of the time. It kind of slows me down. Well, then you're a lot like a Tyrannosaurus Rex. A T-Rex was not really much of a runner. They could only walk quickly. No way! Way? Remember, big dinosaurs were huge, and their steps were big, too. Think about how fast you walk. That depends on where I'm going. Fair enough. Think about how fast you walk when you're going somewhere fun. The average person walks at three or four miles an hour. A T-Rex could move about 17 to 20 miles per hour. That's usually how fast a car drives in a school safety zone. That doesn't seem very fast. Well, you know, it would probably seem pretty fast if you were getting chased by a T-Rex. That's true, but I'd be running as fast as I could anyway. The T-Rex is a super fierce dinosaur. You can say that again. The T-Rex is a super fierce... Dinosaur, yes. No other dinosaur has jaws as powerful as the jaws of Tyrannosaurus. With its thick, sharp teeth, it could crunch and smash the bones of its prey. If cars had been around in Tyrannosaurus' day, its bite could have bitten through most cars. It was probably the fiercest predator of its day. It was big, and it was pretty smart, with a brain twice the size of most other predatory dinosaurs. It also holds the record for some of the biggest teeth. Each of its 60 or so teeth was about 8 inches long, about the size of a banana. Yikes! I wouldn't want to have been that dino's dentist. <laughs> nope, me neither. But they did constantly grow new teeth. And T-Rex wasn't even the biggest meat-eating dinosaur, believe it or not. That honor would belong to the Spinosaurus. Wow! Some scientists think that T-Rex hunted prey in packs sort of like how animals like wolves and lions do today. So, what is the largest dinosaur? Right now, the record holder is the Argentinosaurus. Some of these giants may have measured 140 feet in length, about half as long as a football field. And they may have weighed close to 100 tons. That's almost as much as 10 kilo whales. Whoa, that is enormous! But it's still not the biggest animal that ever lived, though. That title belongs to the blue whale. Blue whales are much, much heavier. They weigh about as much as a herd of elephants. Hey, you're right. How did you know that? Hey, if you want to be an expert, you've got to learn all you can. Well, keep reading and learning, and you'll be a dino expert in no time. Hey, I know. Why don't we play a game to learn more about fierce and fearsome dinosaurs? I'll tell you something I read about a dinosaur. If you think it's true, you can stomp your feet like a T-Rex. What do you think? I'm ready. Let's do this. Okay, welcome to the dino games. Up first, the jawbone of a T-Rex is about as long as a seven-year-old child. True or false? Um, true! Yeah, you got it! In addition to holding all of those teeth, the T-Rex's jaw was about four feet long, or about the height of a seven-year-old. 